Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I start off any design in Procreate. Procreate is an iPad app, um, but you have to use an Apple Pencil in order to use it. Every year, I make my kids costumes. And we really pretty much start thinking about what we're going to be right after Halloween ends, or really while I'm making the costume in general. Like, we start already thinking about what we're going to do for next year. Um, and so we went back and forth all year about what we we're gonna do and we ended up with chocolate milk and cookies so I went to Pinterest started gathering some inspo ideas and went to procreate and started there so I also knew that I wanted to put my logo somewhere on this costume because last year they were cheeseburgers and french fries and I didn't put my logo anywhere and this is actually my first time um, recording the entire process of me making these costumes because usually I just do it <laughs> for the fun of it and everyone was just telling me like hey you really should have put your logo on here like basically a walking billboard so I definitely knew I was gonna fit my logo somewhere the design changed a little my first design was very detailed uh, because I was only doing one milk but then my daughter changed her mind and she wanted a box costume too. So then I asked her and she said she wanted to be strawberry. So I simplified my design because I knew it was going to be a lot of work and I was running low on time. I always say I'm going to start soon, like at the beginning of October, but I always end up starting like a week before Halloween. <laughs> so this came together pretty fast because I didn't have a lot of time. My daughter switched her mind and I didn't want her to be left out, of course. Mom's going to get it done. So we got the design all figured out and my main idea was just to figure out if I was going to use fabric or if I was going to paint it. And I knew it would be easier to paint it, but fabric has always been my go-to because it just looks better. It just pops more. So I did end up going with fabric, but yeah, the design came together pretty quick after I figured out how I wanted it to look and how I wanted it to go. And um, the kids loved it. So this is my very first voiceover. So just bear with me as I try to walk you through this and uh, let's just get started. I used one extra large box from Home Depot. I ripped it at the seams and I needed a straight edge. So I went ahead and um, created one of those and had already made a rough draft to go by, which is what I'm measuring here. And I made them 16 by 13 because I knew that would give my kids a little bit of wiggle room. I initially thought that the front and the back would be wider than the left and the right, but they ended up being the same size. So I cut eight pieces equal to 16 by 13. Measure, 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 cut, cut, cut. I am ripping up my table. I should have been using a cutting mat and I eventually did go get it, but I should have been using it from the beginning because it was wearing my blade out. So I made sure I had eight pieces. I start to tape them together. Um, I didn't want to hot glue them together immediately because if I messed up or if they were wrong, then I would have had to completely cut them all over. The hot glue would have messed up my measurements. So I taped them together first to make sure that they were right. It's cats playing all over the place, meddling, doing all kinds of stuff, but they are babies, so <laughs> you just gotta bear with us. Check, check, check. Then I start figuring out how I wanted the top. My first draft, I noticed the angle was a little off, so I knew on my second one I would either make it uh, bigger. So then I get a size check in because I know if it fit her, then it would fit him, and he was somewhere in and out doing something. Um, and my daughter just decides to come and bring her whole little workstation into my workstation, and I'm like, girl, really? But you know what? I love you, so it's okay. I love that you want to spend time with me, girl. 
Then I make the top of the box and I get another size check to make sure that fits because like I said, if it fits her, it's gonna fit him. So on the rough draft, I originally had just two holes on the side, but they were kind of restricted. So I decided to cut a half circle instead. No measurements or anything, just used a tape roll to cut those and let my daughter try it on again. It was a little tight for her. So I knew I would measure them and get them centered and right and maybe just a little bit bigger. Uh, my son came along and then I let him try it on and his little arms are just so tiny so I knew it would work with him too. So now that I know that this is all going to work and that it fits, I can untape it and actually start gluing it together but not before I center out my arm circles and make sure they're actually even. I simply took a top to a Tupperware container or something and just used it to draw my half circle and it worked out. To make sure all four sides were even, I just placed all of them on top of each other and traced my circles for each using an X-Acto blade and cut each one of them out. For the top, I actually cut that circle out on my scroll saw because I knew I was not going to be able to cut out a perfect circle with an X-Acto blade. So I placed them on top of each other, traced it out, and um, it worked. So after I cut the second circle on my scroll saw, I went to make the top of the milk carton, which would connect to the piece that I made for their head. So then I wanted to make sure I had all my cardboard cut out and that I wasn't missing anything. Um, so I knew I needed four large rectangles for the sides, two square rectangles for the head, two small rectangles to connect to the head piece to create the angle, and two long rectangles for the top of the cart. So once I knew I had all my pieces, I knew I was ready to start gluing all of this together because I had made sure it had fit. I had made sure I had all my pieces together, everything worked out, so it was time to actually, you know, get it together and see how it was going to look. So as I finished up gluing these all together and, you know, getting them all done, it was time to call my kids in to try them on, and I knew they would be super excited. Y'all, come here. Get up there on the side. Just 
They really, really liked them, <laughs> and I'm so glad they did. So now it's time to do a graphite transfer, and when I say I use this for everything, I use it for everything. So I start by tracing out the sides of my box and making sure that it would fit my design that I had already drew. I sent the design to my computer. I then plugged my computer up to my TV. I then put the trace paper over my design that I pulled up from my computer. Then I trace over each side to make sure it's gonna fit each side of the box that I've already created. I knew that my food pieces would be cut out of wood so I take those pieces and I tape them to the wood. I put my graphite transfer paper up under the trace paper, shiny side down, graphite side down. So wherever you draw is where the graphite will show up. The harder you press, the more graphite will come off the paper. I then go over it with the Sharpie so that when I get ready to cut it out on my scroll saw, I will be able to follow the lines easily. I then do the usual, which is cutting it out on the scroll saw. I won't post the entire video here on this clip, but I will create a separate video where I cut out all the parts and I will post that link in the description so you can see all the parts I cut out for this costume. Then I start to draw out where my colors are gonna be different on the box. I also outline these lines in hot glue so that when I put the fabric over it, I will be able to feel where my lines are without having to do a complicated graphite transfer and seeing if the graphite will even transfer onto my fabric. Then I measure out my fabric pieces to make sure they're gonna fit each side. I do the same with the next color. I just put the fabric over the other color so I won't have to measure twice. After cutting out all of my pieces, I start to glue them to my boxes. I decided to wait till I glued the top part on and cut the head out just in case I cut it too big or too small. If you cut too small, it's okay, but if you cut too big, you really gotta start over. So I put the fabric on first, then cut the hole. I didn't cut the sides to fit perfectly, just in case I made a mistake. Then I had a little wiggle room to fix it, just in case. So when I had that extra left over on each side, I just super glued those edges together really, really tight and then cut off the extra. So after I finish that up, I take a marker and I feel for my hot glue lines and I go over the hot glue lines with the marker. So now I can tell 
where my different colors will go. You can't tell with this marker because it's gray. If I messed up, I didn't want it to show up too bad, so that's why I used a gray. I then go over my areas that are gonna be painted with gesso. Gesso basically keeps the paint from soaking into the fabric. I did a test, and when I first tested this out, I painted an area and the paint kind of soaked through. I'm not too familiar with painting fabric, but I am familiar with gesso, and I know that it's used to prep surfaces and stuff. So that's why I went over these areas with gesso to ensure that it would be um, easier to paint over them. The gesso was taking forever to dry because it is so thick and I'm used to painting it on wood or canvas where it dries really fast. But on these fabrics, it wasn't drying very fast, I guess because of how thick it was. So I had to sit these outside and let them dry. When I got done with the gesso, it was also very rough. So I did end up sanding it down a little bit to make it a little more smoother. Not that it was gonna matter because a lot of it was gonna be covered up, but I still wanna kind of follow through with that. So then I start to assemble all my pieces onto my trace outs and made sure I had all of them. And then I start to graphite transfer my nutrition facts and my logo onto poster board. Except this time I use white carbon paper instead of the graphite. The graphite can be messy and I didn't want it to smear or anything like that. As I was cutting these out, I had just put a fresh X-Acto blade into my cutter and it swiped the side of my thumb really bad so I had to clean that all up it was bleeding so much there was just so much blood it just would not stop bleeding oh my gosh so after I finally got it wrapped up appropriately I was able to finish cutting everything out my gesso was finally ready to be painted so I tested out a few colors and then I went with a darker pink and a lighter brown Something closer to my design and that would work with the poster board that I had to go on there. The paint didn't take nearly as long to dry as the gesso did because it's not as thick. So I went ahead with painting all of my parts to let those dry while I work on something else. So now it was time to color all my pieces. And um, I started with the strawberry first. I am very, very, very particular about my colors matching to my design. I really wasn't too much worried about my lines being perfectly straight because I knew I would outline them in black and that would kind of clean it up a little bit. So then I got started on the chocolate bars and I was a little nervous about it because my main concern was making sure it looked 3D like the chocolate bar actually looked on my design. I don't feel like I truly accomplished that, but I did my best and I definitely didn't want to start over. So I just went with it. Then as everything began to dry, I started to put my black outline on all my pieces, which really helped with cleaning it up. Then I painted all my letters and my drips. I then painted my poster boards, and those are super easy because that's what I do all the time. Lettering is always my favorite, so I knew these would be a no-brainer. 
my main focus was just not mess up and not get any other spots on my poster board because I threw the access away and I didn't have any more to make new ones. So I was just trying to be very, very careful not to mess up. So now we are coming down to the final stages. I get ready to place all of my pieces on the box. The boxes are dry, everything's dry, my pieces are dry, my poster board is dry. So I start to assemble everything and get it glued down and also to make sure it's not too heavy. That's one reason why I chose the pieces I chose to be out of wood versus the pieces I chose to be out of poster board because I didn't want it to be too heavy. my daughter wanting to try it on before I'm even done I use pipe cleaners to go around the parts that I painted because my lines were still a little rough they weren't like super clean so I put the pipe cleaners around the edges to give it some definition and to make it look more cleaner Once I finally got all of those on, it was pretty much smooth sailing from there. It came together so perfectly. The kids loved it. I loved it. This was fun. And I'm already thinking about what we want to do for next year. If you have any ideas for us, I would really, really appreciate it if you would drop them in the comments below. Um, we mainly do food. I think food is our lane, and it's usually always out of a cardboard box. I'm not opposed to other ideas either though, because one year my son was a washing machine. So anything that can be made out of a cardboard box, we're pretty much down to try it. So yeah, let us know. Drop some comments. So the final outcome, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. There are a lot of things I would have done differently, 
but overall i'm pretty proud of them we actually ended up winning two first place costume contests which was super exciting every trunk or treat event we went to everyone was asking of photos of them and i gained a few extra followers on instagram which is always exciting and um some new supporters so yeah it was it was a great time it's always a great time when we get to go out and show off the hard work that we put into these costumes well that i put into these costumes but um all the compliments they get and stuff i think they really like that so yeah we had a great time If you have watched this video to the very end i appreciate you so much thank you thank you thank you and please like comment share subscribe you know all that good stuff we'll be here uploading more videos soon